everyone, as you fellow RVers know, small RVs, especially like our trailer, are lacking in storage space. So today we want to share with you six storage slash organization ideas that we use to maximize the space in here. The first thing on our list today is utilizing vertical wall space with things like baskets or shelving if you want to drill into the wall. Here in our kitchen, we've added three hanging baskets. We use these for things like um, like onions and potatoes, fruits, and then all of our coffee supplies. And we do this because we don't have a lot of pantry space and we don't have a lot of fridge space. So being able to put some of our stuff out here, especially things that might go bad quickly, like fruits and vegetables, is really easy and convenient for us to be able to get a hold of them. I would have liked to have actually had shelving up here, but these work really, really well because I can take them off and store them and I don't have to worry about them ripping things out of the wall when we're traveling down the road. So personally, I prefer these. In our bathroom, we also have two of these because we only have one bathroom cabinet and one tiny little cubby and that's just not enough room for all of our personal care products. So things like my blow dryer and curling iron and straight iron, they have their own basket and then we just We've, used, we've utilized that vertical space in the bathroom in a way that makes it so it's not in the way and it also looks nice and makes it so that our cabinets aren't super cluttered. I do actually also want to add two shelves above our bedroom windows each to just give us a little easier to access bedroom storage type things like our chapstick and I don't know, chargers or something like that. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but it's an idea that I think we might do here soon. Now we've hung the baskets up here in our kitchen and the ones in the bathroom with big command hooks. And we did that because it was the easiest way for us to hang these baskets up without drilling holes into the wall. And speaking of command hooks, they are a great way to get things out in the open that you use all the time. So for us, that would be Sweeties, you know, leash and collars, uh, Alice's harness, um, you know, an umbrella by the door, as well as our car keys, our hats, our coffee mugs, and our headsets for our computers. All these things we hang up with command hooks because we use them all the time and they get them out of drawers or cabinets that otherwise may be completely full already and it just gets them to where they're easily accessible for us. Now, if the item that you're hanging up is fairly heavy, then the adhesive strip that comes with the command hooks might not be strong enough to keep it up. So in that instance, you're going to want to get a double-sided, strong uh, adhesive, preferably one that is outdoor usable, just be, so if it gets humid inside the trailer, especially if you are storing that hook or hanging that hook up in your bathroom where the shower is gonna make everything just really humid, uh, get an outdoor quality adhesive. We use a 3M double-sided tape um, and it works really well. So that's what we've got our baskets hung up with because those baskets have just pulled off those command hooks more than once and that adhesive, the double-sided adhesive, has gotten the job done for us. And if you haven't looked into command hooks yet for this type of stuff, definitely check them out because there is just a ridiculous number of types and sizes of command hooks. They're just really useful for us RVers. And if you're hanging something up that's even too heavy for that uh, double-sided adhesive, you can also use like a cup hook and this will like screw into the wall or the ceiling and then you can hang something by this and that'll work great too. Now this next one might be kind of a duh for some of you, but for us, I actually fought this quite a bit before we decided yes, this is really the only extra space we have and this one is floor space. For us, we utilize the floor space around our bed to store things that don't fit anywhere else. For example, the cat box is next to the bed. We have shoes next to the bed. We have the rabbit's entire cage along with all the stuff for them next to the bed and all of our camera equipment on the floor next to David's side as well. Now, it was important for us to utilize that and we're okay with crawling out of bed using the foot of the bed to get out instead of, you know, just throwing our feet over the side and walking out. But we really needed to utilize that floor space. We've also utilized the floor space next to our back desk that we've made. We have a small table that has quite a few storage um, slide out drawers in it. And we use that as a little bit of storage because we're not really using that part of that floor space over there. And 
Basically, if you have any floor space that you're not using to walk through your RV, then there's a good chance you might be able to put something there. And if it doesn't clutter up the space too much, then it may just be a good option for you if you have something you don't know where to put it at. This next storage idea is kind of unorthodox, but we really like it. Now, when we got this trailer, there used to be Luan boards right here and here that were stapled from the back side and behind them was just empty space. So it just blew our minds that Keystone didn't make a drawer or a cabinet in these two spots. There was just this like unusable empty space that was for whatever reason blocked off for us. So what we decided to do when we like completely ran out of storage space in here, got a little desperate. So we pushed these boards in, knocked those uh, staples out, and then we just kind of broke the board so that we could pull them out. And we put this uh, fabric in front of it and now we have all this storage space here as well as here that we can now use and jenny sewed this fabric together and put these like velcro uh command strips up so that these were just velcroed on and i think she did a really good job um and the reason we also wanted to leave this open as opposed to uh doing something that was more like a drawer cover or like a you know kind of like this the reason we wanted to leave them open is in the short amount of time that you know right after we knocked those boards out and cleaned everything up where these were just completely open the cats of course just went right on in there and just made a home in there so our cats love coming in and out of these two places so we wanted to leave them accessible for them these like nice dark you know cool areas for them to hang out in but now we just have this massive amount of storage it's it's just it's huge it's incredible how much was walled off to us before that we now can use. And we do have another spot under our fridge that we could also utilize in the similar way that we did here, but I don't think we need it just yet. So we're gonna wait uh, until that time comes, until these get full, but they're not full yet. So I think we'll be good for a little while. And uh, you know, where we actually were thinking of doing this for quite a long time before we, you know, went ahead and just went for it. Uh, so you may be a little apprehensive to do something like that, but you know if you need the storage then why not go it or go get it. David and I have been in so many RVs that have these beautiful huge pantries with all kinds of storage space. However, they all seem to have one thing in common. The sections of pantry are always ridiculously tall. I mean look at this. The shortest thing, or the tallest thing in here are boxes of cereal, and they're not even that tall. Like, there's still extra space up here that can be used for other things. So what I did right before we hit the road is I made these shelves. And I made them, I made uh, the legs out of dowel rods, and I used really thin plywood, and I made this little shelf so that things didn't bounce off of it or shake off of it when we're traveling down the road. And uh, I do have to admit that one of them is broken. This one right here is just balancing on the rods in there because I didn't make it sturdy enough to hold all the cans and heavy stuff that I have on there. So I am fixing it, don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, that one that one is uh, not good anymore, but that one's good. And we actually have another one that I built in the kitchen bottom cabinet where I store pots and pans and our Instant Pot. That one is actually even taller than the shelves in our pantry, yet it didn't come with any shelving either. So I had to, you know, measure it out, make sure it fit in there properly. I even had to put little command strips next to it so it didn't like fall forward because that's one thing I was really worried about. But when I update this shelf with all the cans on it, I think I'm going to add little brackets to make it so that they can't fall forward anymore. And that I think is a really good use of upward storage space in these extra tall pantry cabinets. Now this last one is pretty unorthodox and although we don't take advantage of it, we've seen people that do and for them it works really well. So if you're the type of person that doesn't use your microwave or your oven, then you can just remove them and then it leaves behind this big void that can be used as storage. So the microwave, for instance, behind it is just this big area, you know, as deep as our cabinet is that you can use as storage and it actually 
probably like ours already has this lip built into it and if it doesn't you can just build a lip in with a piece of wood so that you know whatever you store in here doesn't you know it won't fall out and if it's too tall you know you can just build a shelf in there similar to how we did in our pantry or this other cabinet so that you've got a shelf in there as well for vertical storage and then the oven if you don't cook in your rv's oven or your stovetop, you can take this out and then that is gonna be even more storage that you have to work with. Uh, we've also seen people that they don't use the oven, but they just you know take everything out of the oven and then they use the oven as kind of like some sort of makeshift cabinet. So like I said, we do use our microwave fairly often and we cook with our stove and our oven all the time so these aren't storage or this one in particular isn't a storage idea that we're going to take advantage of but for those that don't it's definitely something to think about so those have been six storage slash organization ideas that you might be able to use in your rv we use most of them except the microwave and oven one that david mentioned and we actually really enjoy being able to use the vertical space in our RV. We find it really convenient and we're really happy with the amount of storage we have now. And hopefully you've been able to take something away from this video. Anyway, we will catch you guys next time. Bye! Sweetie, say bye! Arr! 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 You gonna bark for me?